The highest number of paint assaults, about 43%, happened between 6 p.m. and midnight. 98% of paintists never spend a day in jail. Girls ages 16 to 19 are four times more likely than the general public to be victims of paint assault. All rise. So why'd you do it? Well, she was asking for it. I'd like to put paint on that. Hey, a dirty girl throw paint on her. Let's do it. And then what happened? Didn't she say no? She was just teasing. She liked the attention. Into the sound, the ghost of you is close to me. I'm inside out, you're underneath. A paint assault is reported every five seconds. I've got two faces. I had paint thrown at me once. It ruined my life. The judge suggested it was my fault because of what I was wearing. This is the first time I've left my house in months. I'm so scared. I need your help to take him out. Well, we get paint throwing cases all the time and they're all for the same reason. If she was wearing white, she seems to be provoking response. While the assailants need to be reprimanded, the plaintiff must expect, accept her responsibility too and avoid these situations in the future. I don't know what I did to deserve this. It all just happened so fast. I can't get his voice out of my head. It's haunting me. I can't go outside because I'm just so terrified it's going to happen again. And I, I threw away everything white in my closet and now I can only wear black. Why? Why did this happen to me? I mean, she chose to wear white. Yeah, she should have been more careful. The judge found the victim, Lauren Farajian, to be partially responsible for the actions and therefore the boys were given a warning and fined $10 to purchase a new outfit for the plaintiff. Wait, that's not fair. Who cares? This is why we tell you not to wear white. 